and welcome back. Today I have, this is the Nelco Thermal Label Printer. This is actually pretty cool. I'm actually excited about it because I'm always like constantly like um, printing stuff. This model is PL70E-BT. That way you guys could see it right there, the model number. Um, and it should be pretty easy. Connection mode is going to be Bluetooth. USB printing method is direct thermal. Resolution is 203 DPI. I don't know. I'm I'm extremely new to this stuff. So this is all like foreign to me. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. Um, driver support goes Windows or Mac. You could use it on either one. So yeah, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. So you do get a power cable and it does come in two, in two parts. You have your brick and then the actual power cable to the wall. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Now the next thing is we do have, this one is gonna go, so there is a piece of paper already in here. Um, not sure why, but this cable is gonna go right in here. And then the other side is gonna go to USB. Now I'm kind of curious if I don't need to plug this into a computer, which would be great. Um, and then of course you do get a user manual. Now, the one thing it does say, which I'm gonna go ahead and slide this way, that way I have a little bit more real estate on this side to show my phone, um, is we do have to download an app. So it says here, search for Shipping Printer Pro on Google Play Store or the App Store and install. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I just did a quick search here and I found Shipping Printer Pro, that's what it says, um, and hit install from Giotto. This one doesn't really give you much on here. So as that one's downloading it, I'm gonna pull a couple things here. Um, it does have USB-C to USB adapter, which is great. Um, it looks like there is some kind of key here. It looks like a USB, oh, it looks like a, just a USB thumb drive. Um, that's pretty cool. Does this thing have, so I see the power, um, yeah, I see the power, but I don't see anything else. Now for this thing is there is a power switch right there that you can do. There is a button here that if you push, it will open up and it does have this label on here, which is interesting. Um, it says self test boot model and it has just a couple things here just to label things here to check so um yeah I'm just gonna pull that out close it up and pull out some of the this paperwork here so mm, that's cool it, so it gives you actually a couple blanks here which is nice um quick tips on setup guide label inch 8 by 11 so it kind of tells you a couple things here a couple tips and then on the back it says uh, usage tips which is great now it says print using bluetooth via phone so it has all those instructions and then the manual so we're going to go ahead and open the app and i'm going to go ahead and plug the power in on this guy and then just looking at this thing i'm going to go ahead and turn it on so there we go it looks like we're on and cool so I'm going to click on workspace here and on the top right hand corner, I'm just going to hit allow while using the app connect. And it has two different things here. So make sure you hear three beeps after the printer starts system before connecting. So I'm just going to pick on, I don't think mine was L E. So I'm going to click on that bottom one, even though they're both, well, it's not, it's just this one. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to work and it looks like I'm in. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's connected up here. It has the name of it. Um, I have a template here that I could use. Let's use new template, rectangle, paper size, okay, text, hello, um, rectangle, image, oh, gallery, circle, graphics code. So that's cool how you could like set up your stuff and you got your line. And then I guess I could print this. So I hate to use like one of the actual ones. So I'm going to use this dummy one that was in there. Um, not really sure how I'm supposed to do this, but there is a feeder here in the front and there's a feeder there in the back. So I'm going to hit print. I'm going to, I'm going to put it through the back. 
and let it do its th and actually it did its thing. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. Um, so let me go ahead and turn on the the bottom camera here, so that way you guys can see it. Okay, so here we go. This is the back end. This is your paper. Now the sticky side has to go up, but I'm gonna put it down. All you gotta do is just put it in like this, and it's just gonna start taking it in just like this, and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna hit print on my phone, and it's doing its thing. Now it 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 just printed this, which is kind of neat. So the cool thing is, even though I was able to put it in upside down, it didn't print on the wrong side up. Um, now, if you guys could see here, it says hello right there. And it has my little box, my square, and my barcode. And then I turned it around, did the same thing again. It says hello, my box, my, my barcode. So you could actually set this up however it is that you want, which is pretty cool i think now again when you're coming here and you are putting in the text you could change the text here to whoever so um you could put to blah 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 confirm you could change this hello to or uh yeah to this person and you could create your label right here so from me to this person barcode a little thing here little thing here and create your your little guy there now the cool thing is um when it comes to some of these labels um, i'm going to go ahead and exit out of this save panel cancel um when you have your templates you could actually if you actually the other thing too is if you have a pdf and you scan or if you take a picture of one of these codes then it'll do it for you um, it could it could be like a file right there and this tells you right there file like however it is that you're going to want to do it um, and then in the back it tells you how to go ahead and scale it up and place it within this window most of the time when we get these like barcodes you know we just print it so we could actually take a picture screenshot or whatever make it into a file and then print it out ourselves and now we don't have to worry about it we could actually make one from scratch or we can do it and it's all there the great thing is is i didn't even have to set this up on my computer i could just do it everything directly on my phone now down here where it says center um from here you have the printer name you could either disconnect it you could do search done whatever printer settings you could do the density the speed you could do all of that here lots of cool things here your language systems in english your theme system light dark whatever um your instructions so this will send you off to the instructions of the thing you could log in do whatever then you got more and feedback but this thing is awesome again i ship a lot of things out um now from here if i want to disconnect it i just click on the printer disconnect and then i could search find it again see it says up here not connected yeah this is great um this is going to help me out and come in clutch when it comes to me uh printing stuff so yeah again because it has that power button you can just turn it off and you are good to go um yeah that's amazing there's no ink cartridges or anything like that um but if you want more information on how to like maintain it and stuff like that, it's going to be all in your user guide. And I don't want to go too detailed on that stuff when you guys could just read that up on yourself. But the simplicity of setting this thing up is, is simple. It is the easiest I've ever had to do. And I absolutely love this thing. I'm definitely going to come in. Um, when every time I send products or sell products or I mail it to anybody, this is going to come out to be amazing for me. So yeah, if you guys are wanting one of these, check the description below. I will leave you guys all hooked up and everything in there. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys ever used anything like this or if you guys recommend anything else. And as always, you guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.